Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. About an hour ago, Ubiquity released Unify Protect Application 2.1.1, which comes with a couple really cool new features. So in this video, we're gonna get Unify Protect updated. We'll look through some of the improvements and bug fixes, and then we'll take a look at the new features within Unify Protect. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you like live stream gaming, you could find my new Twitch channel in the description below. First, before we look at the improvements and bug fixes, let's update Unify Protect. We could see under our applications here that Unify Protect, there is an update available. I'll click update available. And that will bring us to our update page where we could see the update is available. Now it is updating our Unify Protect to 2.1.1. So let's look at the release notes. At the top, we have an overview which tells you what you need to have your Unify OS running at for the UDM Pro, the SE, UNVR, UMVR Pro, the UDR, or the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. So there's a few improvements we could see here, but then there's a bunch of different bug fixes. The first improvement is add line crossing. So what I think this is, you put a line in, and if somebody crosses it, it will trigger an alert but I'm not 100%, we'll have to take a look at that. We could add MAC addresses to the sensor side panel, improve search in device list, and then we improve the scrolling experience when using time-lapse with detection only recording mode. We could zoom in timeline in selection mode, notification triggers for package detections. It enables analytics for all of our cameras. And then we have marked timelines in part when recording has lower quality due to connectivity. And one of the biggest improvements I think in this is we add smart detections to the G4 Instant cameras. So really this should have been out when the G4 Instants were first released, but now I'm really glad that they have added that. And we'll take a look at that once Protect is done updating. We have some improvements for the AI series of cameras, and then we have the improvement of the G4 Instant Audio. And we have an update for the G4 PTZ, which I haven't tried myself, but more accurately center position when users click via PTZ mouse control. And we also have an improvement for the G4 Pro doorbell. It allows to work with 8VAC transformer, plus chime, plus USB PoE accessory. So the first new feature that we're gonna take a look at in Unify Protect 2.1.1 is the line crossing. So we'll go to my G4 bullet camera in my backyard. We're gonna go to recording mode, and then we'll scroll down and we can see this new section that says crossing line. So I'll click it. And then we're going to add crossing line. In my backyard, we could see that we have my catio here and I'm going to add the crossing line. And then I'm just going to drag it across all the way up to the top of the fence. And we could have the detection type for either a person or a vehicle. Obviously, there hopefully shouldn't be any vehicles going back here, but there should be a person. So we'll save it. And now I'm going to go walk across that line and see if it triggers. All right, so now at the top, we could see that there's this new notification with this little line icon saying that we tripped the line. So let's click on that image. In this video, we could see that I'm walking past the line that we created. So that's really great. And that triggered pretty much instantly. The next big update to 2.1.1 was the ability to add smart detections to our G4 instant camera. So let's click on my G4 instant and we could go to recording mode. Under recording mode, we could see detections to record and now we have motion and smart detections where we could do the person or the vehicle. If after doing this update, you still only see motion detection, you need to make sure that your firmware of the G4 instant is at 4.55.5. If it's not updating or picking up, you might wanna bring it inside if it's outside, closer to an access point so it gets a better signal. After that, it should do the update and then give you the options for smart detections. And as we could see under my display options, I have person and vehicle selected and then I have my G4 instant camera selected and it is picking up smart detection. So we have a person and we also have a vehicle detection. So that's really great. I'm glad they added that feature to the G4 instant. The next thing in the update, it adds analytics for all cameras. I'm not too sure what cameras weren't included in this before, but here you can see this is my AI360 camera and we can see some person analytics as well as motion analytics. If we look at my G3 Flex, we can see analytics for motion only. So I'm not too sure which cameras weren't included in this before, but if you do know, let me know in the comments below. So other than that, those were the big changes that were a part of 2.1.1. That line crossing is gonna be really good for businesses 
and residential clients who don't want people stepping over a certain line. And the addition for the smart detections for the G4 instant camera is a huge plus in my books. I really think Ubiquiti is doing a great job with all of these new updates and I hope that we see some more Unify network updates in the future. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.